At this place in history, we're in North Hero with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, what brings us here this week? So, Mike, we are going to be talking about the Loyal Blockhouse, mm. uh, which was a British um, emplacement, um, fortification, one would say, uh, right here in North Hero, kind of across the bay behind yeah. us on the, on the end of a point. Steve, it's notable that there would have been a British military emplacement in North Hero because it was there after the United States existed. <laughs> it was. It was there throughout the, the term of the Vermont Republic, and it was even there through the uh, early existence of Vermont as a state, as part of the United States. So much so that when Thomas Jefferson came and toured the state in 1791, when it was becoming uh, a state, he wrote back to President Washington and said, it's kind of this problem. There's this <laughs> British fort or fortification within the state of Vermont. What we would come to know today is British intelligence operated out of. And one of the key uh, principles in that was a man named Justice Sherwood. And Justice Sherwood was a, originally a Green Mountain boy. Okay. He was part of, you know, Ethan Allen's band of, of huh. merry men. When the American Revolution broke out, um, he decided to join the British side. He was a loyalist. And so he went north to Canada um, and ultimately was put in charge of kind of British spies sure. uh, throughout Vermont. And as far as we know, operated somewhat from a blockhouse uh, here in North Hero. Vermont, as most viewers know, was a republic. So it became its own republic in 1777. And we were our own country uh, until uh, 1791 when we became the 14th state. Um, during that time, it was a precarious existence. So for part of it, the American Revolution was going on. Um, other times we had this new country, the United States, which we weren't part of. Most Vermonters wanted to be part of the United States, but there were a faction who thought, well, maybe we should be part of Great Britain. The Allens were a, a bit more uh, pragmatic and like, we got a lot of land holdings up here. How do we protect those land holdings? So they, with some approbation of the governor of the time, um, Thomas Chittenden, decided they would negotiate with the British to see if the Republic of Vermont could go back and be part of the crown. That happened between the Allen brothers and Justice Sherwood, and the governor general of, of Quebec was uh, Frederick Haldeman, so that's why they call these the Haldeman negotiations. Nothing ever really came of it. We've got some information about, you know, what was said and what was offered, you know, based out of that blockhouse yeah. over there on that point. Justice Sherwood kind of got his moment of fame around the beginning of the 20th century. A number of books had been written about him. And in fact, a big monument was installed on Blockhouse Point, which was a, a kind of a public area at the time. It's all private now, so you can't really go out there. Um, uh, but we have got some great pictures of that monument. And then in the 1950s, um, a historian from northern New York, Oscar Berenson, decided that um, he would buy yeah. the property uh, and build a summer camp or summer home there, but he built it to look like a blockhouse. So you could still say it was Blockhouse Point. A British intelligence outpost in both the Republic and the state of Vermont at this place in history.